They are often loud, crowded, and some call them chaotic. In Kenya's capital, Nairobi, these buses are the movers and shakers. Often referred to as matatus, these buses sidle through jumps in style. Over 20,000 matatus weave through the roads trying to outshine each other in an effort to attract young passengers. Tons of graffiti are the style. The bodywork is all pimped up. The mantra is the more attractive and noisy, the better. And guess what? A matatu is not a matatu without a roaring engine. It is a display of Nairobi's culture. Graffiti is more appealing to the eyes and beauty is what attracts someone, yeah? So with, this, with a matatu like this, you expect something like free Wi-Fi, music. Like a cloth, you like the better logo, so you have to make it better so that you attract the customers. Plasma screens, Wi-Fi, and extremely loud music converts these matatus into clubs on wheels, thus attracting youngsters. On the wheels, drivers driving such eye-catching matatus are often hit on by the prettiest girls in town. I'm not the one who always tell them sit here. They like us. Their choice. Their choice. Their choice. They like us. Before hitting the road, these matatus require weeks of work. The best graffiti designers are hired, and outstanding artwork means the matatu could be crowned the city's coolest ride. This requires up to eighty thousand dollars, mostly recovered within two years of business. The matatu sometimes is for satisfaction. And uh, probably you get more customers because of the pimp matatu, because of the, especially the, the, the young lads. However, some travelers still choose the classic matatus over their pimped counterparts, which charge a fraction less. Here are part of Nairobi's matatus that have been ranked among the coolest rides. <laughs> <laughs> 